my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves, come out boxing. Bottom trunks, some trunks, dude. All right, so a lot of respect for between these two. They're both from California, about 80 miles apart, but they could not be any farther apart, Grish, when it comes to demeanor personality. Yes, Demore's demeanor is certainly more uppity than Stevie Knight. Stevie Knight just wants to come in and knock him out. Chase Demore would love to put on a show. Uh, he just gave me the little side eye from up in the ring. He heard what you just said about him. Hey, I, I think it's true. <laughs> Look at Chase Demore, who's wearing the white. He's got the big height and reach advantage. Don't want to be caught reaching, though, do you? Oh, oh big oh, hands for both. Oh, and this didn't take long to get hot. These two might as well be out on Bourbon Street throwing hands outside the club. <laughs> it's one of those fights. <laughs> with the help of a right hand. Hey, let's see how hurt he is. Oh boy, Demore. This is what we came to see. Two big boys in the heavyweight division letting the leather fly. Now it's gonna settle down a little bit. Skills might start paying the bills. You know, isn't it funny how there's smiles, there's laughs, there's trash talk. Until the bell rings. And now you look at their faces, Chris, all business, all the time. Oh, boy, puts it down. They're going to say that's a slip. No pushing. No yeah, I think that was just a push. I don't think it was a knockdown. You can see frustration, though, from Stevie. You do not want to get frustrated when you're there with someone that can hit as hard as Chase Demore. Well, think about it, Chris. These guys are doing something literally for the first or second time competitively. Two more rights landing for Chase. He's got that chin high, though. And right now, Chris, Stevie's going in, but he's putting his head down. You can't go in with your head down and not expect to get hit or see your opponent. Stevie Knight's going to try and land that big overhand right. And Chase Demore's chin is right there if he can find it. Behind the head. Now they got to be careful. You cannot hit in the back of the head. There's Gideon, big name in the influencer world, taking in the action here, and plenty of it in this round one. I gotta tell you, a lot of the influencers that have been here that have come up, introduced themselves to you and I, very respectful. I like the community. I know you fit in well. You got a huge Instagram following. Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. But good opening round. And Knight's gonna have to find some answers in between rounds. Oh, Chase Demore, though, man, that is as low as you can get. Punching a man in his face multiple times while he's down. You understand why they're so pissed off? Understood. You, you, once he goes down, you cannot touch him. And now all hell has broken loose. And I don't blame them, to be honest with you. This is not MMA. You do not wait until the referee steps in. If they're on the ground, you walk away. I mean, Chase Demore. You know that's an automatic. Yes. You know that. He was down. You know that's an automatic DQ. You know that. The commission knows it's an automatic DQ. You guys already know that shit. I'm upholding the commission. No matter what's going on here, I'm upholding the commission. You disqualified? You have to disqualify when you're on the ground like that. And he stops. When you call stop, you know the commission says it's automatic DQ. You know that. I think he's right. That. Now, first of all, it was criminal how slow the referee was. I, 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 criminal. I blame the referee for some of this. No, no doubt about it. No. But there's a lot of blame to go around. 
Come on. You can't hit when on the ground. The ref referee should have been faster. The, the celebration the afterwards was uncalled for. The referee telling us disqualification, which would mean that Stevie Knight wins. We'll wait till it's official out of Ryan Ventura, the ring announcer's mouth. But that's the word we were just told. I was th I was in the rhythm. Well, the rhythm's gonna get you. Yeah. All right. And this now, is part of the problem. Let's look at this again, uh, Todd. So the, the action, we're coming down to the final 10, 15 seconds of the first round. And then right here, it's down. you stop. I mean, c come on. It goes, it turns quickly from boxing to assault. You know, he, he I don't Halfway care. through that. I don't, I don't want to hear what Chase had to say as far as I was in the flow. No, he said I was in the rhythm. I was in the rhythm. Hey, you can be driving down the street. If it's a red light, you got to stop. I don't care how good you feel driving that car. And Grish, think about this. He looked amazing. He was going to score a knockout. And we were going to talk about how great he looked and then the celebration and then Stevie Knight's corner. I don't blame them for coming in and being heated, being ticked off. Well, the only only defense, and it's a, it's a, it's a not a good one, is that Chase is a newbie. He, he's not into this sport. The moment caught the best of him, he kind of lost his mind for a second. That's the only defense you can have for that. Well, I think these guys need to understand and maybe have a little bit more education about the rules of the sport as opposed to just getting in there and having a professional debut or a second or third fight because what should have been a really good knockout has now turned into a melee. Well, listen, Roy Jones Jr., First loss ever was when he hit a man who was down, and he was down on one knee. He was disqualified. That went eight, nine punches after that. He's knocked out. You can't keep hitting on the ground. I was throwing combos, and then by the time you said stop, the bell was. That's an automatic DQ. When a fighter's knocked out, you cannot continue to hit him. All right. So you heard what Chase had to say. He heard what the referee had to say, and the referee's correct, but he was incorrect in how slow he stepped in. And Chase was just all the way wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, Afterwards. referee Brandon Hughes has called for a stoppage at two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round for your winner by disqualification, Stevie Knight. Well, he's not happy about it. Chase Demore says I'm sorry, which is good to see, but I mean, I would be looking, thinking this is the, there might be a suspension involved here. This isn't just a, all right, you lose, move on.